I'm Kayla Marina. I'm here with the Varsity Sports Show. Today, I'm here with Coach Vance Miller, the new coach, head football coach of Mesquite High School. Thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Of course. So we just have a couple questions. So you first started coaching at Apache Junction, correct? And you were there for six years? Well, I was the I was the head coach there uh, for six years. Before that, I was the defensive coordinator for a year. And that's actually kind of the second half of my coaching career. I, I started coaching in, in Valley here at Saguaro High School back in 1994. So oh. I've, I've been coaching for uh, for about 28 years and had uh, some time at Desert Mountain and uh, Paradise Valley and then uh, at Apache Junction. And uh, then I'm, that's when I started as a head coach. And then I was a head coach there and then at Arcadia for a year and then over here at Mesquite. Awesome. You're ready for Mesquite, right? All right. Oh, absolutely. I, I came on this past season uh, as an assistant for Scott Hare, who did a phenomenal job. He led the team to two state championships and then we made it to the semifinals this past year so you know big shoes to fill and you know he's he's uh he left a great legacy here so i'm, I'm hoping to continue the, you know the winning traditions and and put you know my my little twist on it and, and but actually coming in here for this past year has been great because i i already knew the kids i already knew the program and the administration and i also do teach here on campus so i, I know my way around and so it was a, a, a great fit for me Good. What do you teach there? Well, usually uh, in my past, I was more of a PE guy in, in weight training, but I'm also certified in science. So I'm actually teaching earth science here at Mesquite. Next year might be uh, a little more phased into uh, the weight room and the football classes and things like that, but that's yet to be determined, but I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Awesome. So with your teaching at Mesquite, how is the connection with all the players that, well, with the students who are going to be your players? Do you have a great connection with them? Already? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It really helped being here for that year, um, kind of not just understanding the pulse of, of the football program, but understanding the pulse of the community and the, the kids in the classroom. And the kids had an opportunity to see two sides of me, so to speak, uh, but also kind of understand that how I am as a person in the in the classroom is the same person they see out on the field. You know, maybe I just have a little more room to get a little louder and a little more fiery when I'm outside, but um, getting to know the kids in the classroom and they see what kind of what I'm all about uh, as a, as a round, well-rounded teacher and coach. I think that helped build some connections or some relationships and understanding of each other. So when I was uh, chosen for the position, the kids were pretty excited and, and they, uh, most of the, a lot of them I have in class. And so they were kind of you know, waiting every day asking, you know, what's, what's the decision? What's the decision? And so when it was finally made, they were pretty excited and everybody stops by my class to see me. So That's good. so exciting. So what kind of strategies did you have in the past coaching at previous high schools? And then how are you going to carry those over to Mesquite? Well, I'll tell you, the first thing I want to say is that um, what I've learned is, is that every high school is different. It's a horse, but it's a horse of a different color. And you get a different type of kids, different type of families, different types of upbringing. And and I think I've learned to be a little more flexible and still follow in what my beliefs and my traditions are, but be able to adapt a little better to the type of kids that I'm, I'm coaching. You know, I, w I grew up in a military house, so everything was very structured, very regimented. I do bring a lot of that structure and reg uh, regimentation to my life. I try to carry a little bit over to the kids, but I understand that this is not the military. So I just want them to be able to to understand and learn self-discipline and communication and, and to be able to plan and, and uh, plan for their futures. So when it comes to a uh, strategic standpoint, that's kind of what we're, we're looking at there. Uh, one of the other things too that I've, I've learned is that, you know, loyalty goes a long way. Being loyal to the kids, they're they're loyal to you. Being loyal to your coaches, they're loyal to you. Uh, some of the coaches from the previous staff are staying on with me and coaches that have worked with me over the past 25 years are some, some people I haven't heard from in a while. Uh, they want to come coach and they want to be part of what we're doing. So I, I think that we have a, a very well-rounded staff, a very well-rounded outlook from the kids. You know, I hope to be able to instill some of that discipline to a, to a point where they're just, they're going to work hard. And it's, it's not a, you know, let's march, march in line. It's anything like that. It's, I want them just to understand that they can push and, and they can work hard because they're used to winning. And sometimes when you get used to winning, uh, you start resting on your laurels and you, you start thinking, well, you know, we're just, we're mesquite. So we're, we're just going to win because we're mesquite and I don't want them to get comfortable. So I want to, I want to keep them in an uncomfortable position. I want them to keep pushing to get better. And, and I think that, uh, the people that I have on staff are going to be able to do that. Awesome. So you just kind of touched on what I was going to ask you next, but on the Mesquite Wildcats Athletics Twitter page, they posted a statement that you said, and in that statement, you quoted one of your beliefs are don't get by, get better. I could definitely go a little more in detail on yeah. that. Don't get by, get better is it's something that 
comes out of my mouth every day. And it's, it's whether I'm talking to my kids or my friends or my, my family, my, my coaches. And it's, uh, it's kind of one of those where you wake up in the morning and, and you make that decision that you're not just going to spin your wheels. You're not going to just go through the motions. You're not just going to get through the day. You're going to find something to get better at, something to accomplish. And so I tell the kids is it doesn't matter if we're on the football field, if we're in the classroom, we're at home. Everything we need to do is, is to raise that bar and to get better. One of the things I always tell the kids, I said, if your mom tells you to take out the trash, I want you to get up faster this time to go do it than you did the last time. So they get better at it. Make sure that you put it directly in the trash can, not next to the trash can. And it's just the little things like that. And I want, because I want them to be able to be productive and respectable uh, citizens as they grow up. It's a simple phrase. Uh, we talk about it in practice. You know, if we're in the weight room and we're lifting weights, let's just not just go through the motions. Let's figure out what we can do to turn it up a notch every day. That's awesome. That's a great way to put it. Finally, what's your overall outcome and what kind of culture do you guys want to achieve for your team this upcoming fall season? You know, I, I really want them to have a family feeling um, where you know, we're going to have an opportunity that we didn't have during the COVID times to be able to go to an out-of-town camp and, and have some bonding time, do a little more in the spring and the summer than we have been able to in the past. So I think that's going to be kind of the key to be able to just get the kids together as often as possible and 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 be able to get down in, in the dirt with them. And I don't want them to, to look at me as like, hey, here's the general on the field. I want them to look at me as, hey, here's somebody that, that's done it, experienced it, and, and knows what it takes to get better. And, and I, I kind of want that atmosphere of where every kid that's showing up is holding the hand of, of, of their buddy, trying to, you know, never, never letting them fail, pulling them along with them, pushing them out in front and, and just you know, making things happen. And I think if we, if we can achieve that here in the off season, we're going to be pretty productive. Awesome. Well, that's all I have. Do you want to add anything else? You know, I just, uh, that I'm, I'm honored to be the leader of, of such an established program that's had some uh, outstanding accomplishments over the last few years. The administration here has been outstanding. You know, they gave me the opportunity and it wasn't a, uh, they didn't just hand it over. I mean, they, they, they really grilled me and I went through, uh, you know, three or four rounds of, of interviews and uh, all the way up through district personnel. And, you know, I, I feel like I, I earned it and uh, I'm just absolutely excited. I just, you know, I couldn't be happier and, and, and you know, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at either if it wasn't for Coach Hare. He hired me on as the uh, running backs coach this past year. And, and so I got to know the kids and, and, and know the layout of the land, so to speak. And um, I, I was, I'm just ready to hit the ground running. Awesome. Well, I'm sure everyone's super excited. I know I am. Well, thank you so much. Again, I'm Kayla Marinell with the Varsity Sports Show, and this is Coach Vance Miller, the new head coach of the Mesquite Wildcats. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and good luck on your new season. Thank you. Go Cats!